Hey guys, it's been a while. Giving you a little update on the trailer. With the black tank in, you're going to see some pictures of the black tank right away. But this is where I left you off. I was uh, working on the uh, cabinetry, different issues and uh, things going on inside there. I've kind of stopped because I have to run some wire as well. But I took some time to get the black tank in and I made these braces. I don't know if you can see them there. And they're made out of aluminum. And I had the, their two L shaped braces. I put some screws together and I was able to catch the lip. This is a new 31 gallon black tank made with ABS plastic. And you can see where it is falling into place. Perfect fit gets right in there in between the uh, floor does not actually sit a little higher than the original one and again there you can see that little albrecht that I made barely see it past the leaf springs and the frame and again right there you can see it's off to the left there I believe I was just showing you the cobwebs and the old spider webs and nest that are in there. Now this is the top of it. I had to drop it, cut the holes, and put the two uh, holes in it. The larger one is obviously for the toilet, and then the two-inch hole is for the vent. And I'll show you some pictures later. But now this is the spot where it's going to go back up into it. And I still have to cut the vent hole. But those straps, you see that they crisscross, and I'll get those pictures as well in there. But I just, I just wanted to show you uh, the area where that tank sits up, up inside. Now I'm going to show you some wiring. I'm getting this wiring done. This is the 12 volt. This is uh, light. These are kind of like a can light, for lack of better terms. Um, they go right in, into the ceiling, they run flush, and the uh, styrofoam insulation is going to go right on top of that. So no big deal. Everything's going to work out just fine. This is one of my panels. This is kind of like a sub-panel because it also uh, gives me a voltage of my 12-volt batteries, the condition that they're in, and then each one of those switches is going to control uh, some type of lighting inside the trailer and then there's a USB uh, charging station right there which I'm going to build a little shelf just above that and yes that's an imperfection on my uh, my wall there a piece of paneling that I used there's some more wiring that I put in uh, a lot of it's already connected you're going to see some lights on here in just a little while some more wiring. One of that shorter wire is going to be the porch light. I'm going to go out, directly out. And then that longer wire is actually right there is going to be a closet. And that will be hiding those two wires, but that will be a light in the closet. This is a vent hole for the bathroom, believe it or not. A huge 14 by 14 vent hole, but I have a beautiful vent for the bathroom. I don't want to have any issues with... Uh, ventilation in that bathroom. Here's one of the lighting underneath the, uh, I believe this is the kitchen area, uh, right over the sink. It's going to be a little can light and the switches right there as well. Now this light here is basically the same thing and this is going to be right over the kitchen table. And these are just some of my wires. Obviously not all of them are in yet, but the most of them are. I've got about ooh, five more circuits, six more circuits it looks like. Yeah, six more circuits before it's full. And another shot of the uh, light and with the light on as well, right above the sink area, the kitchen sink this one over the uh, kitchen table uh, 
Uh, this is a light. Uh, it's not quite sure where it is. It is on. It could be either in the galley, over the galley, either the entryway or towards the front over the gaucho. That's what the lights look like off. Real easy to install. You just cut a hole, you drop your wire, you make your connection, and then these have little springs that, retention springs that hold it. And they're nice and tight. They're not going to fall down or anything. Uh, this is the one towards the front because this is a vent. It's right next to the vent, and the vent has, has a 12-volt uh, line coming out for the fan that I will be installing there. So this is the same light with it on. Now these are just taking a look at everything back. I've cleaned up for the evening, and I came back out, and I wanted to see the brightness inside these are soft white uh, lights they're not a uh, real bright or what they call the white lights uh, so they're relatively easy to look at they're not going to blind you i've pretty much got all the 12 volt lights in that are going to be in again that is the kitchen table light looking underneath And this is looking, standing in front of the closet or by the entry door, looking towards the front. You got the kitchen table light to the right, galley light to the left, and then the front light to the center. This is my panel, uh, that big opening right there where the fridge is going to go. Again, uh, another shot of that panel, and then the next one should be a shot of that panel just by itself. It illuminates, or I should say it lights up, but it's uh, giving you, and there it is right there. And uh, that'll be a pretty good night light, actually, for my trailer. That way, uh, if somebody needs to get up and go to the bathroom, they're not flipping lights on. So that'll be a good thing. And with that, that's where I'm going to leave you guys. I'll give you guys an update later. Thanks for watching. Bye.